Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media, and in this quick video, I'm going to review some of the new privacy settings on your Facebook personal profile. There have been a lot of changes happening on Facebook, and in fact, there are still more changes coming. But for now, let's start by logging in to our personal account on Facebook. You can see up here in the right-hand corner, that is my personal profile picture on my personal account. We're going to go ahead and click right there on that small round circle in the top right hand corner and from here we're going to go down to where it says settings and privacy. Go ahead and click here and now we're going to go into the privacy setting. Now from your privacy settings, what we want to do is we want to click on audience settings. So right here where it says common settings, we have account details and security, audience settings and ad preferences. So we're looking at the audience settings because we wanna know what people can see on our account because of what we have or have not clicked in our privacy settings. So we're gonna click the little arrow and now we can look at our audience settings. We can look at our profile information, our posts and our stories. We can look at blocking if we've been blocking people, or we can look at tags for when people have tagged us in one of their posts. So we are dealing strictly with Facebook. We're not gonna talk about Instagram right now. We're gonna go ahead and click on posts and stories, that little tiny arrow once again. Now we want to look at who can see your future posts, who can see your stories, and we're going to click on who can see your future posts. And you can see when you look in here, I have mine open to the public so anyone on or off Facebook can see all of my posts that I've made. Now what you can do is you can click on specific friends or all friends only. You, it depends how comfortable you are with Facebook or what your motive is for being in here and changing things in the first place. But what you do is you go ahead and click on whatever you would like, and then you click on done. And going forward, your account will be secured by the buttons that you have clicked. So that is how you can look in your privacy center on your Facebook business page or Meta, as it says up here. I hope that this helps you feel a little more comfortable utilizing Facebook. Remember everyone, keep it simple.